As someone who strongly dislikes the outdoors in Florida, this place is kind of scary. It's difficult to get motivated to learn photography. That's why I take every chance I can to put myself on an airplane to someplace prettier. This time, it was beautiful Park City, Utah. It's summer in Park City, so you're not going to see the winter wonderland most people would expect. I assumed that would also mean light crowds and more opportunity to get out into nature and take some awesome photos. But you know what they say about assuming. So I just drove about an hour west of Park City uh, through the mountains. Just an absolutely gorgeous drive. Um, I was heading for a place called Donut Falls and there's a trailhead for it. Uh, so I followed Google Maps, got all the way to the trailhead, and there's no parking. So it seems like it's a very popular place, uh, even though it seems fairly secluded, but uh, I had to drive back down the road quite a ways to park, and now I'll have to huff it all the way back up to the trailhead. So it's too many people, man, too many people. So we'll see what happens. I was not exaggerating when I said I'd have to huff it. If I had left the audio from my camera in here, you would hear heavy breathing along the lines of Darth Vader after cardio. I did get to see a bit of wildlife on the way up, which was nice, except that this rabbit seemed to be judging me for all the noise I was making. Did I mention I'm out of shape? What I didn't expect to see were cars. So many cars. Alright, made it to the trailhead. Had to have been close to a mile walk from where I parked. And I'm still going straight uphill. This is tough. Let's just hope there aren't any bears or moose. Whew. There were parts of the trail that were nice and empty. I got to see a little more wildlife, checked out some gorgeous views, and then... I slowly started running into people. What struck me about the people was that everyone seemed to have at least one infant and two to eight other children under the age of four. They were even hiding in the trees. And then, the line to get to the falls. So many people. Getting up to the falls is precarious, requiring balancing on narrow logs and trying not to slip on rocks. So I guess we might as well let our toddlers run free. Good times. Rather than get frustrated and give up, I decided to ignore the falls, get my feet wet, and find a little bit of beauty amid all the chaos. I managed to get a photo that I think is nice. It's frustrating to think I might have gotten something even better if it hadn't been for all the people. But at least I walked away with something. And I think that's one of the most important parts of learning photography. You have to be patient. You can't get frustrated. And when things don't turn out the way you expect them to, try to use it and make something out of it. But I think the most important lesson I learned is don't go to Park City in the summer if you're hoping to get out into nature alone. It's definitely not going to happen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more.